Allison, what happened in Tiananmen Square on this day in 1989 is a turning point in history, but it's an event that's never commemorated here or even acknowledged. Discussing it is taboo. Kids don't learn about it in school. Memorials are blocked, and people who attempt them are harassed. So this is Tiananmen Square, riding through on my bicycle because they don't allow anybody to stop. This is the political heart of China, so there is tight security at the best of times, but this time of year, it is a little bit tighter. It's difficult for journalists at any time to get into the square, but they do always allow Chinese citizens and tourists to visit. In Hong Kong, thousands defied social distancing rules to hold an annual Tiananmen vigil to honor the victims, a rally that had been officially not allowed for the first time in 30 years because of social distancing rules that don't allow more than eight people to gather. The vigil in Hong Kong is the only large-scale gathering to remember the crackdown, and it took on greater meaning this year because it was such a show of defiance against Beijing. You see, earlier today, a controversial bill was pushed through Hong Kong's legislature legislature that makes it a crime to insult China's national anthem. Violators face fines and up to three years in prison. And just last week, the plan for a national security law for Hong Kong was approved by Beijing's government in a vote of 2,878 to 1. The only official mention of Tiananmen today came from the foreign ministry spokesperson who talked of political turmoil in the late 1980s. He said it as part of his criticism of Secretary of State Mike Pompeo because of the statement he put out about the anniversary. And this is something that Chinese state media is really hitting on too, given President Trump's threats to send the U.S. military into cities to stop protests. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.